All right guys, here we are back on iRacing and today we have a very exciting race for you. Probably one of the races I've been most nervous for on iRacing in a long time. The pre-race jitters are definitely getting to me. We have Arca here at Kentucky. Nothing special you might say, but I am on the cusp of two very difficult to earn in my opinion iRacing achievements. 10 races in a row without getting an incident point, so no off tracks, no no 2x's, no 4x's for hitting other people, so I'm at 9 races in a row, and then also 10 races in a row gaining I rating. I'm also on 9 races in a row. So it all comes down to this, Arca at Kentucky Speedway, 35 laps, I'm starting from the first position, hit a really good lap, it's not the best strength of field, I am the number 3 car, my I rating's at about 3300 right now I believe, as you see me about wrecking it on my second uh, quality lap there. But yeah, I don't think this achievement as, I mean, I, when I got five in a row, that was me getting the five in a row achievement. So I have never even come close to 10 in a row without incidents or 10 in a row gaining I rating. And I'm sure I probably sound insane right now, but I am incredibly excited for this race. This is the one. Let's go ahead and deliver a good race here at Kentucky. Alright guys, here we are, going for 10 in a row, gaining I rating, going for 10 in a row with no incidents at Kentucky. It's going to be all about saving your tires. Tire lords here at Kentucky. This track is abrasive, it's the 2011 version, so you have to save here for 35 laps at Arca. And uh, we're just going to be keeping it safe. I think a top 5 finish will seal the deal on the I ratings. So that's what we're going to look to do. We're going to go right now. Hope I didn't pass the pace car right there. Should be good. The pace car was off, so I have the right away as the leader to go. That'll give us a little bit of an advantage. Just some safety net so we can take it nice and easy down into one. I'm talking real gentle with it here in the early going. And if guys want to go past me, they can go past me. Because I'm just looking to be there at the end, honestly, at this point. Gotta limit the sliding on the exit of the corners here early on. That's where our tires are really going to take a hit if we're not careful. And we have the right to set the pace, but if somebody wants to go ahead and do it, then I'll definitely be letting them. Just going to make sure we let the thing settle in. Want to not be cranking the wheel whatsoever here. Just really need to let it roll. Like a lot. I'm a little bit more solemn than usual in this race, but I'm trying to uh, drive a good one as we got the uh, four right on my tail here. He's going to look to the inside, so we'll just let him take it here early in the going. Long, long way to go in this race. And again, you know we always go for the win, but I mean, on the podium today will be a good thing. As you see, he gets in really hard right there, slides up the track quite a bit. It's going to allow us to come back at him. We're just going to check up a little bit right here. One wants to go on by, we'll give him plenty of room on the bottom. Again, make sure we're saving our tires, no need to race them hard this early. As long as we can stay with this lead group, I'm confident that we're going to save our tires well around here. And uh, we should be breaking away uh, from basically fifth on back. Oh man, that's a late move to the inside, we're going to give him plenty of room to do that. Do your thing, boys. Do your thing. I am perfectly happy right here in fourth position. Alright, so it's going to be all about tires now. All about tires. Let the thing roll in real deep. Get back on it. We're just going to save, save, save. But make sure we keep up, you know. Hopefully this two will have enough pace to stay up there. Want to get ourselves down into the 32s here at this point in the race if we can. Eaters are going side by side. That's really, really good for us. So that should uh, slow them up a little bit. They're burning their tires going side by side. And I see a lapper up there. We got to avoid all sorts of trouble today. Cannot take a single incident. Otherwise, it's GG. This guy behind me is burning his tires real bad, making uh, hard entries to the corner like that. So we should get him in the end. Got to have faith in the long con in this race. We're taking it super easy. That right, guy's running a really aggressive game down there, so we'll just give him plenty of room to do his thing. 
And now we should actually be able to clear him, although I reckon he'll come back at me as he thinks he's faster. Oh, we'll just give him plenty of room to do that. And big faith that we'll come back at him here later on in the run. We're actually hanging tough with him, but he's got that inside, so he should be able to uh, clear me going off into one. Again, just taking it so easy here. No need to push. Almost positive that five's going to be really struggling by the end of the race if he keeps running like that. I could probably take it a bit faster if I wanted to, but I'd rather have grip to play with later on. Oh man, I thought that guy was wrecking in front of the field. I'm driving scared. It's been a while since that's happened. Alright, so starting lap eight, we're in a really good spot. I would have taken this, you know, within about a second of the leader. Having felt like I saved my tires really well up to this point. This guy's about wrecking it there on the bottom. Those tires are going to be fried real soon, my friend. He's driving it super hard. See if he can save doing that. See people giving each other lots of space in front of me. It's good to see. Hopefully the two doesn't hit the wall. He does not, so we'll... Uh, just let our car do its thing. No force in it. Minimal wheel input here. Got in a little bit shallow that time, so we'll let it roll. Jump back on it. Ooh, five about trying to slide up in front of the two. He's not quite going to get there. His tires are going to be cooking down there on the bottom. The two's having to run with somebody next to him, which is a good look for us. So we might be able to get to his inside right here. Although the five's a little bit slow. We'll have the draft, but I'm not going to press. Again, so, so long in this race. Five will clear, but I think he's going to be in a bad way with his tire shortly. We'll start to see it after maybe 15, 20 laps. Those tires are gone. You're just in deep trouble. Get right up on the two here. Actually, we'll go underneath him. Should have a bit more momentum on the outside, I think, but we do have the shorter path around the track. We're going to take it real easy. Let him drive off hard if he wants to. Yeah, we'll just let that go. Drop into line right here. No need to race that too hard at this point. He's taking a real wide line. I'm going to have to pass him if he keeps doing that. I don't like that. It's too slow for my liking. Not sure if he's just overdriving the entry a little bit or what's going on there, but I can't afford to get held up too much once their tires do start to go. So we're going to be looking out for that for sure. A lap car down on the bottom of the track. Two gets into the wall ahead of me. Just keeping my eyes up. We should clear that guy, and we do. Two's overdriving. And, uh, leader getting away a little bit, which is unfortunate, although he is number one, so it's kind of expected. And uh, I'm hoping that my pace comes good here at the end. I'm not really showing too great a pace at the moment, but... We should have it when we need it late. It's going to be all down to being able to make passes. As you see, the guy behind in the 14 is already starting to drop back a little bit. I think maybe he burnt him up. Just keep that minimal steering input. Drive the thing with the pedals. And I'm hoping that a top 5 would be good for gaining I rating. I do not uh, actually have... You know, one of those fancy overlays that tells you live, so I'm going to have to live in fear. But I'm thinking it'll be okay. But still, quite a long way to go in this thing, so... Getting too very, very wide off in there. I'm thinking we want to be where I'm at. I'm going to get another good run on him. Look to the inside. Probably need a bit better of a run to make the pass stick, though. Yeah, two's, two's overdriving a little bit on entry, so I'm starting to uh, starting to come back into this thing. 
a peek to the inside, kind of bluff him a little bit. Oh, leader's got a lap. Traffic two's way wide. Should be able to just drive right past him here on the bottom. We ought to get clear, and we do. All right, good stuff. So there's our first pass. We're starting to march our way back up. Let's go get this five. We know he worked his tires very hard. He's still working them hard, driving it down to the bottom like that. Should be able to come up right back at him, and you see we're already gaining. This is where we come good, boys. Lap car blinking in front of second place. First place is going to be loving that. Try and slip to the outside of the five here if we can, but... Gonna force him to take the inside lane if possible. That is really gonna slow him down. We're just gonna drive right by him on the outside here. He's very shallow off into one. Fly around the outside. We wing it and we're clear. Let's go get second now. Oh man, they're about wrecking it in front of me. Second's not gonna be liking that in the four. Uh, Marvin in the one, he's 2.1 ahead. I think that's a little bit too far, especially when I gotta pass somebody, but definitely possible for him to make a mistake or get caught up in lap traffic, as we already saw. But my hope right now is that the guys behind will just go away. 17's gonna pull up in front of me. Where's he gonna go? He's gonna go low, he's gonna go high. My uh, 10 races are flashing before my very eyes. He's going to slide up into me, hopefully not. Ah, get clear. Just say clear. <laughs> okay, we've done it. The madman. And yes, those guys behind are dropping back a little bit now, so that's a good look. I'm thinking we can go get this four now. Way too hot off into one that time, though, so... Let's take it easy. No need to overdrive it. Gonna be real gentle. Even now I'm cranking the wheel too much, I think, at this point in the run. Just gotta slow down a little bit earlier, let the car do what it wants to do. It's the big thing here, it's all about the tires. See how much we dropped back and now we're starting to charge our way forward. Or is gonna hit the wall. Give him space. Oh man. <laughs> Stay clear. Alright, man, I'm getting close here. Alright, let's just run away with second and I'll be happy. Don't think we have anything for the one, but... Could get a little lackadaisical having that big lead, so maybe, just maybe, he's pushed his tires a bit too much. So we've been very cautious with our tires. Let's see if we can go get him. Yeah, we know the four is struggling, so he's the one right behind us. So that's good. Should give us even more breathing room. Just gotta lift a little bit longer. I'm trying to carry too much throttle. Man, I'm just thinking of all the things that can go wrong. Wouldn't it be crazy if, uh, you know, I disconnected, or a lap car hit me, or some crazy net code happened, or even, you know, the, the cursed is, um, after we finish, but before the race over, you know, while everybody else is still finishing, incidents still count, so what if somebody hits me? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna run and hide at the end of this race. I don't think we have anything for Marvin. Seems like he's been just cruising up there, able to save his tires. But we've had to pass a couple people. We might have used a bit of what we had, but... It's alright, we should be good from the guys behind. That's all we really need to do at this point. Still don't like how much wheel input I have to put into it right now. Probably want to try and save a little bit better if I can going forward, but I mean at this point we kind of are uh, living with the hand we're dealt with. One's a little bit better and everybody else behind seems a little bit worse, so. Just gotta hope the one gets into some trouble. I see some trouble up there. 
All right, so it'll be 11 to go right here. We're cruising. I'm trying to tell myself everything to just take it easy. Take it easy. And I haven't felt, uh, you know, the pre-race nerves like this in a while. I'm a bit nervous, you know? That's a... Uh, it's a rarity, especially in Arca. Only thing I'm nervous about is how many turns it's going to take for me to die, usually, but I think we're going to do uh, 9 out of these 10, you know, not done yet, but if we pull it off, 9 out of the 10 races, I believe, will be incident-free in Arca, of all things, here at Kentucky, so. Track's been real good to me. Alright, 10 to go. Again, I'm just cruising at this point. Don't have anything for the one. And hopefully he's able to get through lap traffic okay. That's a bit of a nervy situation up there it looks like. Going three wide in the middle but he pulls it off. And man that guy almost came up and hit him. That's awful. Thankfully he made it through. I would have felt really bad. Nah, I gotta deal with these two guys. So much breathing room behind but these two are racing for position. And they probably have pretty worn tires at this point. I mean, everybody does. I'm just going to try and uh, you know, be real patient here. Real patient. I'm going to take it super slow off into threes. They're battling each other. Hopefully this guy won't wreck down into me. Should be able to pass him. No problem. Let's get the 15 here. Gotta catch him at a bad time. I hate that. <laughs> In the corner exit, but he's... We're just gonna get past him. He didn't give me much room right there. I mean, I did have half the track at the bottom, but I thought he was gonna go out to the wall. My man held it in the middle of the track. He came quite close to throwing it all away right there. The eye reading and the safety. Alright, we got a good gap behind still. Let's go finish it out. Six, uh, seven to go. Definitely tell I'm nervous because I'm getting on the throttle way too early. Overdriving it quite a bit. There's no need for it. Just gotta let it roll. Not gonna feel too bad losing out to Marvin either. He's a really good driver, especially here. Insane at saving his tires. So I won't be kicking myself too much with second. But still got to do uh, five and a half laps, so let's not a uh, let's not call it a done deal. Still pulling away from the guys behind, though. Marvin having to go to the outside in a lap car. Hopefully he's able to clear up there. A little bit scary side by side. Five to go. Let it roll. There we go. Much better in one and two. Let it roll out to the wall. Perfect. I'm still running 33.8s. Five to go. I'm pretty happy with that as long as I'm not hitting 34s. I think that's the uh, point where you've spent your tires a bit too much if you're hitting 34s at the end. So we'll see where we're at in these last four laps here. Four to go now. going to be one lap car in the way. Oh, baby. Catch him in a weird time. Stay up there, buddy. Stay clear. All right. Good to see you. Let's focus up here and finish it out strong. 
actually gain a little bit on Marvin, although he's been on cruise control for about 30 laps, so... Don't think anybody's got anything for him. Alright, two to go, let's do it. Actually got about even pace with Marvin right now so I'm pretty happy with that as we see the white flag I'm just creeping into the 34s able to get back down into the 33s right there so I think I'm in a good place with my tires especially considering how I had to pass a few people uh, you know you can always wish for a bit more I think Marvin somebody clipped the wall oh they put Marvin into the wall oh god there's one more lap car come on Carrie just get it across the line No spin outs. All right, we're off a of four. It's looking real good. We're going to do it 10 in a row. No incidents. 10 in a row gaining I rating. And please get me off this track as fast as possible without incident. I cannot believe it in Arca. Okay, I'm going to very gently. Just get me out of this thing. Okay, go, 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 go. Well, I never thought I'd get this achievement, um, you know, in a second place finish and not the highest strength of field. It's something silly to be celebrating, but my goodness. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that race. Uh, you know, I'm sure I wasn't my usual most jovial self, but I had to focus up for that one. Great win to Marvin. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next race. All right, and if anybody's curious, you're going to be running uh, Kentucky this weekend. These are my tire percentages at the end of the run. Um, this is pretty good, actually. Um, I was very conservative early in the race, so I saved quite a bit of tire. This is almost to a fault uh, the, uh, the amount remaining. I think you can probably get away with running it a little bit harder, and you'll be all right. But yeah, those are what my tires are looking at, just in case any of you want to uh, try Kentucky Arca this weekend.